the controversy surrounding primary prevention for patients with high LDL cholesterol is ongoing. We know that LDL cholesterol levels are associated with a risk of developing coronary heart disease, and it seems intuitive that lowering LDL cholesterol early in life might prevent or even delay the onset and progression of this slowly developing disease. It boils down to the following question. Is the benefit worth the risk of side effects of early prevention? Ideally, this would be answered in a clinical trial, but such a long-term randomized trial would be expensive and difficult because of the long follow-up needed. Now in Jack, researchers take a unique path to try and figure out if lowering cholesterol in younger adults would in fact reduce their chances of developing coronary disease. Here's how it works. Multiple single nucleotide polymorphisms are associated with small differences in LDL. Each of these polymorphisms are randomly distributed at the time of conception. Inheriting an allele associated with a lower LDL is like having cholesterol-lowering therapy from birth, whereas inheriting the other allele is like having usual care. The researchers then did a series of meta-analyses to estimate the association of a lifetime of lower LDL and the lifetime risk of coronary heart disease, mediated by nine single nucleotide proteins in eight different genes. They then meta-analyzed the results of these studies to reliably quantify the results of these studies on the risk of developing coronary disease and then compared those results with the studies of lowering LDL with statin therapy. Here's what they found. Lowering LDL cholesterol early in life or maintaining low levels of LDL throughout life may prevent or substantially delay atherosclerosis. The results also suggest that lowering LDL cholesterol is likely to be more effective strategy for the primary prevention of coronary disease than is currently recognized. So what's the real message here? Until a randomized trial is done, if ever, effective primary prevention strategy may be to promote exercise and a healthy diet early in life with the aim of maintaining a low level of LDL. And here's the real message. For those who cannot lower their LDL by diet and exercise, it may be best to begin statin therapy in early adulthood rather than waiting for coronary disease to develop or an event in middle age. I'm Peter Block, and this is a CardiSource Heart Minute.